So the question arises often, um, you know, what happens if Spot can't get a GPS fix? I mean, does, does Spot keep working? Um, is it useful or what? So what I'm going to do here is, I've, I've got Scott Spot inside of a uh, metal cabinet. And uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and uh, and try to send a help message. Now I've modified my profile um, because as you know you can have multiple profiles and I've got one that I use just for test purposes. So this help message shouldn't bother anybody who receives it. Um, I cannot test SOS because um, if I push SOS it's going to uh, Go, it's going to get routed to the GS command center, and they're going to and they're going to be checking it out to see if this is is an emergency or not. And I don't want to be wasting their time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, push this and ask for help. So I push the button. I hold it in there until I see the light on it flash. Okay, so it says it's flashing. It says it's going to try to send a help message. Now I'm going to stick Spot way back in the cabinet here. Now that flashing red light on the top there says that it cannot get a GPS fix. Now according to um, the directions on Spot, even though it cannot get a GPS fix, it will still go ahead and send the help message. Now this is kind of a crummy test. Um, the reason I say that is because, you know, uh, Spot's going to try to transmit a signal to a satellite out of this metal cabinet as well. What I've done is I've blocked the GPS signal. That part I've done. Oh my goodness. Now it says it's getting a GPS signal. You've got to be kidding me. How the heck is it getting a GPS signal inside this cabinet? Oh, brother. Well, I don't know if that was real or not. Well, I just got the help message on my phone. It just showed up. And uh, I'll take a look at the message here and see whether or not the GPS coordinates are uh, even in the right ballpark. But what I really wanted to show here was the fact that Spot will, trans and it did, will transmit a help message yeah, that's weird. Uh, without a GPS coordinates, and what's also weird is I just realized the thing will transmit the message inside of a metal cabinet too. That's uh, I wasn't I wasn't counting on that. I didn't think it'd work. Boy, that must be. Well, it's good to know. I suppose it means if you're inside a canyon or sitting down on the rock someplace or under a tree. You should know that the signal in on this thing is a lot more robust than uh, what some people uh, some people think, <laughs> since this thing just transmitted from inside my uh, my storage cabinet. Huh. All right. That was interesting. Bye. Well, look at old spot sitting there, so smug. I was surprised. I didn't expect it to be able to. Uh, transmit from inside that storage cabinet but it did. I checked the GPS coordinates that it sent out and the GPS location is about 60 feet south of uh, where it actually was. Just so you know the spot was receiving the GPS signal from uh, inside my garage. So this is standard ranch house and uh, the garage door was open but the garage door faces to the north and the, the uh, and then it was inside a uh, standard metal storage cabinet, which is I think about 16 inches deep or 13 inches deep or something like that. So it was inside the storage cabinet, metal storage cabinet, with the door open. Now when I first put it in there, it uh, it claimed it couldn't get a GPS signal, and uh, then all of a sudden it did, and then it turned around and it transmitted too. So. The key, the takeaway from here is this thing, um, it's not as sensitive as you might think. Uh, what I'd really like to do in the future is uh, test this 
uh, in some crummy spots. Uh, you know, get down in a hole and that kind of stuff. But for now, if you're ever trapped inside of a storage cabinet inside of somebody's garage, I guess spot will work for you. Thanks. Bye.